What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. And in today's video, I've got eight things that I sold yesterday, so we've got to get all those pulled, packed, and shipped out. And then after that, we're going to head back to the Goodwill bins. This is also known as the Goodwill Clearance Center, where everything is just in a bunch of boxes and bins, and you buy things by the weight. And I'm going to take $4 in cash. I found it sitting on my nightstand this morning. I'm like, this is a good idea for a video. So we're going to go to the Goodwill bins with $4 in cash see exactly how many items we can get for that and how much profit we can turn our four dollars into stick around first item going out today is a shirt down here in the m bin say uh charleston charleston threats never heard of this brand but i picked it up at goodwill i don't know six or seven months ago i paid four dollars and 75 cents for this and it sold for 15 dollars plus shipping. Not a great sale. This is another reason why I don't really do a lot of clothing, but this shirt sold to a viewer named Corey from Mableton, Georgia. And I think he sent me a message saying that he was going to wear it to his new job that he got. So Corey, thanks for the support and good luck on the new job. I sold another one of my support your friends parental demand shirts to a viewer named Chris from Dublin, Ireland. Chris, thank you so much for your support all the way from across the pond. I hope you enjoy the t-shirt. Yeah, Chris also bought something else. It should be down here in the U bin. It's a little, uh, little elephant. It's a little stuffed elephant. Chris, thanks for the support, man. I really appreciate that. I would ship these together, but the shirts, like I said, are print on demand. So when, when you guys order them, the company prints them and sends them directly to you. So you'll get two separate packages. But thanks so much for the support. Buying the little elephant for $14 free shipping uh, and then the shirt for $20 plus shipping. So Chris, thanks again, man. You're the best. Next item is down here in the G bin, and it is another plush stuffed animal. And this one's a moose with a little moose beard. Uh, this moose belongs to me, Oliver Jeffers. I think, yeah, this is one of the Coles Cares stuffed plushes. This one sold to a viewer named Stacy from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And she paid $10 free shipping for this. I'm pretty sure I got this one at Goodwill for like 50 cents. So Stacy, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next item going out is over here in the R bin because we listed it the other day. And this was one of my, uh, is this the R bin? No, it's the V bin. I already put the R bin up. That's over here. This is uh, the Walkman. The Walkman that I got at the Goodwill bins in my very last video. Uh, and this one did not sell to a viewer. Everything else sold to viewers, I think. Uh, he uh, bought this and said, please do not ship with batteries. Pretty sure I already took the batteries out of this, but we will open it up and make sure yeah no batteries in there should be good to go i list it as is it needs a new belt for the tape the radio function works but the the tape function doesn't so i sold it for 14 dollars 99 free shipping and i probably paid 50 cents for it at the goodwill bins something uh something like that so not not too bad amount of, not a bad amount of profit on a sony walkman that doesn't even work this next item is definitely in the v bin i listed it last night it's some uh Mary Ruth's Liquid Nighttime Multi-Mineral Anti-Stress Sleep Relaxation Pineapple Dream Supplement. <laughs> that is a big title, Miss Mary. I got this at Dream Deals last week for $6. It has a box with it somewhere. I think it's right here. Looks like that on the outside. And uh, paid $6 for this plus tax, so like $6.15 or something. And it sold for $26.99 free shipping. This next item is a pair of shoes. These are some... BOC born concept, uh, like women's women's uh, I don't know clocks, not clock. I don't I don't even know what you call these. I got these at the Goodwill bins where you buy stuff by the weight. Uh, they were I don't know if they're brand new in the box, but they look like this and they're in the box. I mean they look, I mean new other maybe like definitely not not worn any significant amount of time. I actually sold these on eBay maybe forty five days ago, maybe two months ago, and the buyer waited like 30 days to open the return and she was like oh they don't fit i want to return them so in my store if a buyer wants to return for like a size reason or because they just didn't like it i do accept returns within 30 days but the buyer has to pay shipping but i had to i sold them the first time for 44 dollars free shipping so i had to refund her all 44 dollars. so that was including the the shipping costs so now i'm i paid like say three dollars for the shoes and then i had to eat the shipping cost to her which was like nine dollars so let's say I'm in $12 for the shoes so far. So I got them back, checked them out, make sure they were still clean and in the in the same condition I sold them in. And then I relisted them last night. And then they sold to a viewer named Tiffany from, uh, where's Tiffany from? Old Hickory, Tennessee. So Tiffany, thank you so much for the support. 
and I just sold them again for $44 free shipping. So now I have to pay, so we got $3 into the shoes, plus the $9 in original shipping, plus probably another $9 to ship them out to Tiffany, plus our eBay fees. Um, eBay fees the first time were refunded because the order was refunded, but this time I'll have to pay eBay fees. So making a little bit of money, but with a $44 pair of shoes, I'd like to make a little bit more profit than that. But it's the joys of selling on eBay. I mean, if you get something returned, all you can do is relist it and try to sell it again and try to make some profit. Returns are gonna happen, but it's not super, super common. Like I have free returns on my store. Anybody can return pretty much anything within 30 days for any reason, as long as they pay shipping. And I probably have a two to 3% return rate. So out of every 100 things I sell, maybe two or three of them get returned. With shoes, it's probably even lower. Like I've probably had, I don't know, maybe 250 to 300 pairs of shoes that I've sold over the last two years. And I think I've had maybe 10 returns, maybe 10, something like that. So it's, it's just part of the business. You can't really get around it. Some, some people just don't know their shoe size or sometimes shoes are just cut weird. So like I said, all you can do is get it back, make sure it's in the same condition it was when you sold it to them and then relist it and try to make a little bit of money. All right. Let's get to shipping. But first, I want to take a second to give a shout out to Kevin Commonwealth Picker. He sent me this coffee mug recently, and I got the Inman several months ago from his store. Uh, but he sent me the coffee mug for free, and he said, uh, Josh, thanks for your kindness to me and my family. Just a small Christmas gift. God bless you and your wife. Continued success in 2021. Kevin, thank you so much for the coffee mug, man. you got a great channel. If you guys are not subscribed to Kevin the Commonwealth Picker, there's... There's his name right there on his card. Go check him out. I'll link his channel in the description of this video. He's got a great channel. I think he's at like 30,000 subs or something. Really great guy. Go subscribe. While we're on the subject of subscribing, I just hit 83,000 subscribers. That means I'm 17,000 subscribers away from 100,000. So if you guys are watching this video right now and you've enjoyed it at all so far, be sure to take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below and also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. First thing we'll pack up today is this Charleston men's polo shirts. Shirts are super easy to pack up. You just use some poly bags. I've got some teal blue ones in here. These are super cheap. I've got them linked in my uh, description down below in my Amazon storefront. Throw the shirt in the bag with a little thank you card and you're good to go. Here's the uh, Mary Ruth stuff. It's already in a box and it's a pretty thick bottle. So I've just put that box in another box. This is an eight by six by four box from eBay that I just cut and trimmed down to fit this box perfectly. Like you can cut the edges and refold it. And uh, I think that'll be good. And this is probably gonna ship on a pirate ship uh, because it's pretty heavy. It's probably like three pounds, but it's a pretty small box. So uh, we'll touch back base with this later to see how much it's gonna cost to ship. If it's too much, we can always throw it in a padded flat rate envelope, but I think this will be good with pirate ship. I didn't film it, but this is the moose. The moose plush, this is just a poly bag. I would maybe put it in a box, but I don't know. This is a very lightweight poly bag. The elephant that I shipped out a couple videos ago or in the last video was a lot heavier. That's why we put that in a box, but this moose probably weighs like seven or eight ounces. So I think putting it in a poly bag is gonna be totally fun. This Sony Walkman is definitely gonna get boxed up. We can use one of our eight by six by four boxes from eBay. I'm gonna put the Walkman in this padded envelope and roll that up. And then I put a bunch of packing paper in the box. I use packing paper as much as possible. Like if I had the choice between packing paper and bubble wrap, I like to use packing paper just because it's better for the environment and cheaper for me. Uh, so packing paper at the bottom, Sony Walkman in the envelope, put in there on top of the packing paper and then more packing paper on top of that. And it should still go first class. I don't think it'll be over that 16 ounce weight limit and uh it should be good to go here's that little elephant that's going out and i also just put this in a poly bag i would probably pack it better since it's going all the way to ireland but this sold through the ebay global shipping program which basically means i ship this to kentucky and then ebay opens the package verifies that it's the right item and then they repack it however they see fit and then they send it on to the buyer in ireland so i just have to pack it as if it's going to kentucky and i think putting it in a poly bag with a little thank you card in there is totally fine and then we have the BOC shoes which come in a shoe box. Normally if it was just the shoes by themselves they would easily fit in a USPS priority mail shoe box but I want to send them in the actual box too but not just in the actual box. So we got to figure out a way to fit this box inside one of the priority mail shoe boxes and that doesn't sound like it's hard but it is because the priority mail shoe boxes are not big enough as they as they come 
to fit this shoe box. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, I totally lied. It fits in there perfectly. <laughs> so we're gonna box that up just as it is and send it on. If you ever sell shoes with the original box, there are ways to like bend and cut the priority mail shoe boxes to fit larger shoe boxes. I just got really lucky that this box was small enough to fit in here perfectly. So here's that Mary juice stuff. Currently it's costing us $11.79 with priority shipping through eBay. So I'm gonna exclude it for now and then we're gonna go back to Pirate Ship after we ship everything else and see if we can get a rate under $11.79 uh, if we ship it via cubic rate shipping. I'm holding my hand up here so you guys can't see anybody's personal information, but I'm on the eBay bulk shipping tool, so I'm shipping everything at once. The shoes, the Walkman, the Moose, the Elephant, and the Charleston uh, Threads blue shirt, and it's costing me a total of $23.26. This is shipping everything except the uh, the juice, the Mary Juice stuff. Branting them out. Yeah, you can use Dymo labels on a Rolo if you didn't know. So here's that juice again. It weighs two pounds, 15.5 ounces. We're just gonna go ahead and round up to three pounds total. And you see it ships priority mail cubic for $7.98, which is like $3 less than priority. So saving three bucks on one single package is a huge deal. So anytime you have a small box like this that weighs, I'd say anything over like two pounds, like two pounds, one ounce and above, a small box, make sure you go to pirateship.com and check out rates because if you ship out 10 things a day and save three bucks on each item, that's $30 in savings per day, you know? Uh, so definitely uh, definitely check out Pirate Ship, Pirate uh, Priority Email Cubic. I know some of you are probably gonna ask why I didn't ship it in a padded flat rate envelope because that would have been like 20 something cents cheaper, but it doesn't fit in a padded flat rate envelope. It's That's all the way in. And in order to ship something in this padded flat rate envelope, it has to be able to close on its own. Uh, you can tape it shut to reinforce, but the seal has to be able to reach, reach around and seal. And this is just too big for a padded flat rate envelope. So that was everything I sold on eBay yesterday, but I did sell two more things to viewers uh, or friends. This PS4 Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 sold to my man Dante over at the Prison to Profit YouTube channel. Shout out him. And then uh, this set of Everlast Punching Mitts is another thing I got at the Goodwill Bins in my last video, and this sold to a viewer. I don't remember his name. Let's go look. A viewer named Chad bought this. He saw it in my video yesterday and then shot me a message on Instagram asking if he could buy it, and I sold this for $20 free shipping. We got it at the Goodwill Bins, so probably paid two or three dollars for it and then the uh, like I said this game was six dollars and we sold it to Dante for six uh eighteen dollars eighteen dollars free shipping the case is broken and banged up but the disc on the inside is good to go Dante thanks for some more support and Chad thanks for the support as well so these are the punching mitt things I originally put them in a priority shoe box because I thought they were going to be too heavy but then I realized that once they were in the box it only weighed like one pound, three ounces. So I took them out of the box and put them in a poly bag, but then the poly bag ripped and they're just like slightly too big to fit in the poly bag by itself. So I took some of my black plastic wrap, comes in a little roll like that over there, then wrapped it up, threw some tape on there. And now moment of truth, is it gonna be under 16 ounces? <sighs> Frick, man, <laughs> really? Maybe, maybe, come on. Point one. Man, maybe I put too much tape on there. Should I, should I cut the tape off? So I took all the black plastic wrap off, just cut it off with a box cutter, and then rewrapped it just with not as much. And then this time I only used two pieces of tape instead of like three or four. So hopefully that did the trick. We're looking for 16 ounces or less. Nice. Perfect, now we can send it first class. And now it's time for the financial breakdown of yesterday's sales for all you math nerds out there, as well as anybody else who would appreciate the transparency of this, but the total gross sales from yesterday was $182.99. This is including the six items that I sold on eBay, as well as the two items that I sold directly to friends of the YouTube channel and over on Instagram. After we take out the eBay fees for the eBay portion of the sale, we are left with $164.86. Then we have to take out our shipping cost and our cost of goods. So shipping was $33.89 and uh, the cost of goods was $36.75. There's something underneath here. Oh wow, like and subscribe. How did that get there? After we take out our shipping and cost of goods, we're left with $94.22, and then I multiplied this amount by 0.75 because I like to save 25% of my net profits to pay my income taxes. And once we do that, we're left with $70.66 in profit in my pocket from eBay and direct to viewer sales yesterday. Hey, Mose. Rub your belly. You having, you having a good day so far? It looks like it.
All right, I'm running a little bit behind today. It's currently 1127 and I still need to get some stuff listed. Um, so I'm probably just gonna try to list five things. I don't think I have enough time to list 10. I mean, I might list five more later on, but I'm gonna list five things right now. All right, so I got my five items listed and I needed an Ikea bag to put my orders that are going to the post office today in. And I realized that I went thrifting yesterday. I didn't film it, obviously, but uh, this is some stuff I found at Salvation Army. I paid $2.99 for this set of Monster Standard Composite Video AV Kit. I think these are something like 15 bucks free shipping. So I don't know, I just grabbed that. I found this Harmony Companion Logitech Remote. I didn't even look it up. I just paid $4.99 for it. Everything's in there in the, in the box. It's got the cord still with a little twisty thing on there. It's got the little doodad and then underneath it, it has the actual remote. So I need to look this up and see how much profit we can make. I paid $4.99 for it. Sold comps on eBay are pretty good. These are all used. $41 plus shipping, $46 plus shipping on auction, $54 plus shipping, seven, that's pre-owned, $75 free shipping. That's crazy. I'm gonna look it up on, on uh, Amazon, see if I can sell it on there. Usually you can get more, more money for stuff like this on Amazon if you're allowed to sell it. It's looking really good on Amazon too. Rank is 16,000, which means it would sell very quickly, probably within a two or three days or so once it gets to the warehouse. It sells on Amazon for $94.49 in used condition. Uh, you can see selling eligibility. I can sell the product, I'm allowed to sell it. Uh, so if we go over here to Amazon Fulfilled, which means we send it to Amazon and have them sell it and ship it for us. Uh, it sells for $94.49, that's the lowest price. Then after fees, shipping to Amazon, which would be about a dollar um, or so, and then the cost of purchase of $4.99, we would be left with $68.44 in profit. So not that much more than selling on eBay. I mean, after probably like 15, maybe $20 more on Amazon than eBay. Um, but the chances of, ret of a return on Amazon is far greater than eBay. So I'm not sure where I'll, where I'll sell this, but for $4.99, that was definitely a good pickup. Also got a couple pairs of shoes, this pair of Nike Air Max. Uh, they were like women's like white cheetah print or something. Really, really, I mean, they're, I say really good condition. Good condition overall, they're just dirty, but all of those like brown and yellow stains will definitely come off with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Paid $5.99 for these. Haven't looked up sold comps, but I did check the uh, the air bubble. The air bubbles on the bottoms are, are good to go. Uh, so I would, I don't know, depending on how clean we can get these, I think they'll probably go for like 50 or 60 bucks free shipping. Uh, and then I found a little HP toner cartridge, uh, 27. It doesn't expire until July 2022 for $1.99. And then I found these. I don't really know anything about these. I think these are LeBron's. LeBron James? Is that who looks like LeBron James? I paid $9.99 for these. Uh, a little a little dirty, and I think one of them... Um, I don't know. I saw something wrong with one of them, I thought, but maybe I'm just making it up. I don't know. These are really cool shoes. I haven't looked up sole comps on these, but I figured they're they're worth 10 bucks. Anytime I've passed on LeBron's or Kobe's or anything like that in the past, I always get a ton of you guys in the comments telling me to go back and pick them up. So I just grabbed these 
Uh, it looks to be in pretty good condition. These are men's size 10, so really great size too. Definitely worth picking up for uh, 10 bucks. So the women's Air Max, there's only one sold comp on eBay for $39.95 plus shipping, so not quite as much as I thought, but those are used, uh, size eight, and these are size, um, blah, 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 blah. these are size nine. So pretty good size. Uh, I think we can probably get maybe 40 bucks, 40 bucks plus shipping. What? What, do you wanna go outside or something? Okay, go, go get them. And then here's some comps on the LeBrons. There's uh, January 5th, let's say dead, st those are new. These are pre-owned, pre-owned LeBron 11 XI, Armory Slate Gamma Blue. Uh, Pre-owned, sold for $70 free shipping. Um, there's some that sold for $26 plus 20 shipping. 149 best offer accepted. Oh, those are new. Pre-owned, 100 bucks free shipping. So I don't know, I guess it depends on the condition. Also, I realized that what threw me off on these um, was the insoles. So the insoles looked, looked weird. <sighs> Let's see if I can it out of here so they have like third party insoles i guess and so there's no original insoles and then you could like see through the bottom like there's like a hole down there but i don't know if that's meant to be that way or, or what so i don't know if i should sell them with no insoles or i don't know these just look kind of janky uh but i don't know 10 bucks 10 bucks i think it's going to be a good investment even in the current condition with no insoles uh size size 11 size size 10 I, I mean, what, like 50 bucks, 50 or 60 bucks? I think it's a good deal. It's currently 12.15, I'm on the way to the post office, gonna get my packages scanned in. I used to let my mail carriers pick them up from my house, but over the last couple months, they've been really bad about scanning them in as accepted. They would physically pick them up from my house, but they wouldn't scan them as accepted for 24, 48, 72 hours in some cases. And because of that, I actually am scheduled to lose my top rated seller status on eBay this month. They haven't taken it away yet. I'm thinking if I contact eBay, they will be able to take some of those defects off for, for late shipments because the whole shipping debacle that was November and December of 2020. Uh, but for the last couple of weeks, I've just been going to the post office every day to actually let them scan in all of my packages. That's the only way that I can know to, uh, that, I, that I know my packages will be scanned in as accepted on time and hopefully delivered on time as well. After the post office, I might go grab some lunch, but then I'm thinking about going back to the Goodwill bins. I have a like a trash bag of old inventory stuff that's been listed forever and stuff that has been in my death pile forever that's no longer worth listing. So I'm gonna redonate that to Goodwill. I usually like donating the Salvation Army, but it's on the other side of town. So redonating that into Goodwill. And then I have like $4 in cash. And I think it'll be interesting to go to the Goodwill bins with $4 in cash and see if I can find any profitable items for that. See if we can turn $4 into 20 or 30 or 50 or even more. So that'll be pretty interesting. All right, I'm at Goodwill. I just dropped off that trash bag full of old inventory and now I'm gonna go into the, I guess, yeah, I'm not gonna go into, well, I'll go into the retail side just for a minute and make sure there's nothing crazy valuable in there, but then we're gonna take our $4 into the clearance side and see if we can make some money. Okay, so that was a bust. I didn't really find anything. Looked at the shoes, looked at electronics and everything. Uh, nothing. So let's go into the clearance side with our $4 in cash and see if we can find anything worth it. Looking for lightweight stuff. We basically can get two, two pounds of items for about four dollars uh, so we're looking for so it's gonna be easy to ship or worth a lot of money this might be it keep looking for a few more things see if we can pad it a little bit think I can get one or two more things oh, raw fan microphone Pretty lightweight i think that'll be worth something okay this might be pushing it but i found this danco universal kitchen sink sprayer brand new in the package it's got some damage right there but it's still sealed and if you look on amazon it's got a 272,000 rank in home improvement which is not terrible i can sell it and amazon fulfilled shipping to amazon would be like 50 cents uh, cost of purchase would probably be like 50 cents as well. Uh, we'd make $5.42. So I'll add this to the bag, but if we go over our weight and get over that $4 mark, this will be the first thing I put back. A very cute stuffed otter. Wild Republic. Good condition. No stains, no holes. I don't know. 
I think it'll definitely put us over the weight, but maybe their scales are off today and we'll be able to get all this stuff for under $4. All right, I was digging through this bin and I found another microphone. This one is Disney Interactive Studios USB mic. And when I looked this up on eBay, uh, it's pretty good. There's one that sold for 12 bucks free shipping. There's the game, I guess, that comes with it. Five bucks plus shipping, plus $20 of shipping from Canada. 11.68 free shipping. 8.50 free shipping. So not a ton of money, but if we can get it part of our $4 deal, because it's super lightweight, I think it'll be worth grabbing. I was digging around in the shoe bin over here trying to find a good pair that I could maybe, maybe grab to keep it under our weight limit. I don't know, shoes are pretty heavy, but I found these Brooks um, GTS. Really good condition. Like, nothing wrong with them at all. Like, no... I mean, obviously somewhere, but really good condition for a pair of shoes at the bin. So I'm gonna add these to the bag, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it'll, it'll count or not. The big mouth Billy Bass is our heaviest item, but electronics. I don't know if you can see that sign over there. Electronics are only 25 cents a pound. I thought everything was a dollar and 89 cents a pound, but electronics and media are only 50 cents. So that big mouth Billy Bass maybe only be a dollar. So the rest of every, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really, really close. I don't think I can squeeze anything else in this bag to possibly keep it under $4. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out and see what our total price is. Okay, so I went up to the register there. They have like a scale so you can weigh your stuff. So this is my bag of electronics, the big mouth Billy, Billy Bass and two of the, uh, the microphones. And that's only $1.50 for all three of those things. That's, that's two pound or it's three pounds total so 50 cents a pound dollar 50 on those and then the hard goods had the shoes the little spray thing and the otter and that was two pounds so all together i was at like 527 or something so i had to put the otter back and that put me back under the weight limit uh, but i still have a little bit left so i can get one more pound to electronics and stay under that four four dollar mark so i'm gonna try to find some more electronics to add okay so i found these uh sony walkman sony walkman srf h3 they appear to be in good condition. I opened the battery compartment and there was a corroded battery in there, but it's not too bad. I'm thinking I can probably get it cleaned and working. Uh, we'll have to get some batteries for it and test it. But if this works, this will be a great pickup to add to our electronic category. Uh, and I don't even think it weighs a pound, so we might can add one more small item in, in there as well. On this like Linksys thing, I don't think that's worth it. Oh, here we go. It may not work, but we can just add it in. Might be worth something. I think that's uh, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and check out and see if we can keep it under four dollars. Okay. Those are those are all electronics. I have regular stuff here. And that's regular. Should be a dollar eighty-nine right, a pound. So what was the total? 389. 389. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, and as soon as she wasn't homeless, mm -hmm. I'm like to ask people, my daughter, she's 29. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. $3.89 for all that stuff. I rounded up, so we spent an even $4 on this entire bag of stuff. Super pop. Let's go, baby. All right, so here's the receipt. Spent four bucks on everything. We got a quantity of four, 50 cents a pound for electronics, which is a total of $2, and then one pound of regular items is $1.89 per pound. So four bucks. I rounded up 11 cents. Four bucks for all this stuff. We got the Big Mouth Billy Bass. We got the, the Rock Band microphone. We got the Disney microphone. We got the uh, Sony Walkman earmuffs. We got the pair of Brooks GTS uh, GTS 14 women's running shoes. Great condition. We got the Samsung Verizon old flip phone. I don't know if that's worth the hand. Just kind of threw it in there. And we got the Danco Universal kitchen sink sprayer. Four bucks. That's, that's a pretty good deal, right? I need to make sure this stuff actually works. So I've got some batteries and uh, I'm not gonna include the batteries in the, the cost of goods because I'm not gonna sell this with the batteries. I'm just using the batteries to test. Hopefully I got the right ones. I think these are C. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the, the on off button is not there. Huh. There's like no, there's no on off. There's no on off button. Like the switch is like gone. I don't know if it's broken off or it fell back down in there, but it's just got some screws. So I guess I'll just, 
unscrew it, take it off, see if I can fix it. Okay, I took this apart and I don't know, the wires right there are like spliced together really, really poorly. I think somebody has like altered this some way. So first out of the, the finds, the Big Mouth Billy Bass is gonna be a bust. I don't think it's worth anything as is, like in non-working condition. So we're just gonna chalk this up to a loss. Next up is the pair of Sony FMAM Walkman SRF H3 headphones. You can see there's a little bit of battery corrosion in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, but I took the old battery out. Let me just see if I can put a new one in there and see if that'll work. Sometimes that works. Sometimes you gotta clean it a little bit. Is there a volume? Volume's all the way up and it's on, it's not working. So let's clean, let's get a little brush or something and clean that out, see if that'll work. So more bad news. I've tried two different batteries with this thing. We cleaned it, the battery terminal with like uh, vinegar and this little wire brush and it still won't turn on. So looking at sold comps, it looks like it's selling for about 20. I mean, there's one in used condition sold for 30 bucks plus shipping, uh, 24 bucks free shipping. All these are tested and working. So I don't know, maybe there's somebody out there that would be interested in buying these to fix them up. So maybe I could sell them for like $10 free shipping, you know, just to make like four or five bucks or so. Uh, but if they if they worked, we can get them to work. I mean, there's one that sold for $29.82 free shipping. Um, so definitely a good item to be on the lookout for. Just, uh, just kind of sucks that we couldn't get it to work today. So definitely not the start we wanted, but for four bucks, I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> it's not surprising that some of this stuff doesn't work. Next up is this rock band mic. It looks to be like brand new. It's still got the little twisty tie on it. It's got the USB thing and sold comps on these are actually pretty good. Um, I mean, old decent for what we paid, like $11.99 free shipping, $9.99 plus shipping. Uh, there's a, that's a new one that sold for 18 uh, 15 free shipping, 25 free shipping. That's Rockman 4. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, about 10 bucks plus shipping, I think is what we could get for that. So more than doubling our, well, let's say doubling our money after, after fees and ship shipping just on that one microphone. I looked up this cell phone. This is the Samsung, it's like Verizon, uh, what was it called? Intensity. And it looks to be in good condition, but it won't turn on. And even with a charger, they sell for like 10 bucks plus shipping. So I don't think it's worth it for me buying a charger for this. Uh, so I don't know. It's probably just another throwaway item. So four bucks basically for four items, the two microphones, the shoes, and the kitchen spray. So the Rock Band mic will make us about $8 in profit after fees, shipping, and after fees and shipping and then this universal kink kink <laughs> universal kitchen sink sprayer uh i don't think i can sell it on amazon because it's got that little damage right there so we're gonna have to sell this on ebay on ebay these are going for about seven dollars plus shipping so after fees were say we're five dollars into that so eight and five is 13 this disney microphone disney interactive studios wireless microphone um this usb as well most of the time these work i'm probably not going to test these i'm probably just going to sell them as is if they don't work i'll just give the buyer a full refund but chances are they work unless there's like frayed wires and they don't have any of that so this one i think we can get maybe like let's say conservatively ten dollars plus shipping for that one as well so after fees uh like nine bucks so 13 plus nine is 22 and then on the uh, brooks gts uh women's gts 14 women's running shoes let's look these up here are four sold comps for those shoes there's one that sold for best offer accepted 36.99 one that sold for 28.99 plus 10 dollars shipping uh that one sold for 11 dollars plus shipping somebody took a bad offer on that and those uh sold for 24.99 best offer accepted so based off of the pictures i'm seeing my pictures are going to look better than all four of these these that's just uh, i've just been reselling and the longer you resell the better your pictures get usually uh so with the fact that though like this pair sold for 28.99 plus 10 dollars shipping uh i mean i i think my i think i can take better pictures than that and that was a size of 10 that one was a size 10.5 these are size 8 and make sure the other one matches yeah both of these are size 8 so it's a matching pair and again they're in very good condition like i mean pretty much minimal signs of wear uh, so I think I can probably list these for $39 free shipping. And I think they'll, let's, let's say conservative, let's say $34.99 free shipping. So they'll cost $10 to ship on average. So we'll be looking at like super conservatively 20 bucks in profit on this. So we got 20 in that, nine on that, that's 29 plus like six on that. That's 35 plus, uh, what was this? Like eight. So 35 plus eight, 40, 43, $43 
in in profit after shipping and fees minus our four dollar buy cost we're looking at 39 dollars in profit from this four dollar goodwill haul even when three of our items didn't work or you know wasn't wasn't worth it so if the billy if the big mouth billy bass would have worked it definitely would have been a good seller let me look at it so this one was the 1999 jimmy industries one and here's one that sold right here for 57 dollars plus shipping pre-owned jimmy big mouth billy bass singing fish tested and worked so if this worked it would have been yeah you know, it could have sold for 50 something dollars plus shipping so huge bummer there and then on the uh on the oops on the Sony headphones, if they would have worked, like I said, we could have got about 25 bucks for those. So still $4 into 40 something, whatever I said, not counting probably the two, two of the three most profitable items in the entire haul. And that's why I love the Goodwill bins. Now guys, I'm not trying to suggest that you can build some multi-million dollar business off of flipping $10 items from the Goodwill bins. That's probably not going to happen. It's really hard to scale something like this. However, if you ever find yourself in a, a place in life where an extra 20 or $40 for an hour's worth of work would mean a lot to you, even change your world, even just for a day, this is the answer. There was a time in my life where I had a minimum wage job that I hated. It was at a deli, the worst job I've ever had in my life, and I decided to quit it. I didn't have another job lined up, and I had zero money in my savings account, and I decided to quit my job. I don't know why. I was stupid. I was like 20 years old. And there was a period of 45 days between my last paycheck at that job I quit until I got my first paycheck at my new job that I eventually got. And that 45 day period, I had to get extremely creative with my money. I, I remember about the 30 day mark, I went to the grocery store and I took my last $9 that I had to my name, did not have another cent anywhere. All my credit cards were maxed out. I had $9 in cash. And I was trying to buy enough groceries to get me through the next couple of weeks. I think I had accepted the new job, but I knew it was gonna be like a week before I started and another week and a half or so before I got my first paycheck. So I was trying to get two, two and a half weeks worth of food for $9. And if you've never been in that situation, it's really hard to explain, but it sucks. Like it really, really sucks. And if I had somebody on YouTube telling me that I could take four of that $9, like take $5 that I had and spend it on food and then take the other four, go to the Goodwill bins and buy a bunch of junk and sell it on eBay and make $40, you know, after fees and shipping, that would literally change my life. Like having $9 versus having $49 when you're dirt poor, that's a huge difference. Like I, again, if you've never been in that place, it's very, very hard to, to explain it to somebody who, who hasn't. But if you've been there, you know, if you're a college student, if you're a teenager wanting to, you know, get some side money, if you're a, a single parent, if you're a disabled person that can't work a normal job, you know, something like that, going to the Goodwill bins or going to garage sales or thrift stores and spending, you know, five, 10 bucks, to turn that into 30, 40, or 50, that is huge. Again, it's not a way to build some multi-million dollar corporation, but it can change your life, and there's plenty to go around. And I'll be the first to tell you that when I list this stuff, chances are it's gonna sell to a viewer of the YouTube channel. I'm not ever going to to ignore the fact that I have a big advantage when it comes to my YouTube channel, but you can go back and watch my older videos when I was going to the Goodwill bins two years ago. I wasn't selling anything to viewers then, but I was still selling stuff. I was still buying stuff there for 10 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents, and selling it for 15, 20, 25 dollars, maybe even 10 dollars. Turning 50 cents into 10 dollars is huge when you're poor. I just really love making videos like this because I know out of the thousands of people that watch my videos, there's probably somebody out there who's in a tight spot and needs an answer. And the answer isn't going into debt. The answer isn't asking friends and family for money. You can get out there and just spend an hour, literally one hour. I spent like 30 minutes at the bins today. It'll take me another 15 minutes to get everything listed and maybe another 15 minutes to ship it all out once it sells. An hour of my time to make $40. And when I when I was when you're poor with no savings and making minimum wage, that is huge. Again, if you're a fancy reseller and you want to get into huge wholesale deals and build your empire that way, that's great. I'd love to get there one day. But this video is talking to those small guys out there who are just in a tight spot in life. And if you're looking for answers and looking for a way out, this is the first step. You can go back and watch my older videos. I started here. I've grown. I've grown the YouTube channel. I've grown my reselling business. But I still want to do stuff like this to show you that even in January 7th, 2021, this is still possible. You can turn $4 into $40 very, very quickly. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I definitely appreciate your time. If you found yourself watching my videos and you've enjoyed them so far and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Again, I'm like 17,000 subscribers away from 100 and I think I can get there in the next two months or so. So if you wanna be a part of helping me get there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.